Today we're going to talk about uh, Jerig by Stephen Brust, the first book in the Vlad Taltos series. What's that? What? Oh, I'm pronouncing literally every part of that wrong. Oh, okay, fine. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're actually going to be talking about Jereg uh, by Stephen Bruce, the first book in the Vlad, Ta Vlad Taltros uh, series, uh, which uh, apparently is how you pronounce all of those things. So having some fun because I uh, I pronounce literally uh, title, author, and series wrong, uh, come to find out. But it, but um, Vlad Taltos is specifically said in there. I ended up doing audio for this first one. Uh, uh, and uh, that is that is how all of that is said. So I thought that was fun. But I wanted to talk about this because uh, I have this. This is a bind up of the first three. It's the uh, the book of Jareg. And I have two other bind ups uh, that go through four more. And I, there's some additional ones after that. Uh, but I had years ago randomly picked up Dragon by Stephen Bruss, not realizing that it was a later book in this series. And then so over time, I've come across the collections and picked them up and uh, uh, wanted to finally give this a shot. And it was a good opportunity to do the first one uh, and, and give it a shot because uh, at least the first book uh, was either, either I, I had bought on Audible or was included. I don't remember, but I had it in my library. So so I give it a listen. So. This is an odd one, and uh, this is going to be one of those ones that uh, I feel like is so, is so normal for my channel, where I talk about an older series that I'm sure uh, there will be people who come out and be like, oh, I love that series, because whenever I do, I always have a bunch of comments, which one of the reasons I love uh, trying out different stuff, older stuff, that kind of thing, because I get comments from the people who are like, oh my gosh, you know, nobody ever talks about this series. You know, I've had that with Recluse and with Amber and with some other things like that, and so it's been really interesting. Uh, and this one's super unique, and this this, I think, is going to end up being kind of like Chronicles of Amber, where I'm going to have to at least try the second one before I really know how I feel about this, because uh, there's a lot going on. And the the setup here is that Vlad Taltosh is uh, a he, he has magic, but he's he's basically a uh, mercenary uh, that works for a uh, a group <laughs> that the Jerig, which uh, is kind of like, he, he works for sort of like a crime lord and see if some of the mafia feel, but um, you, you have the setup where he's apparently uh, a human and uh, he's, he's living in an area where we're mostly what seem to sort of be elves. Uh, you know, they're not called that though. And so that's where there's a lot, this is very, very high fantasy with different names for everything. Some elements that you've definitely seen, but different ways of kind of going about it. And so he kind of uh, doesn't really, you know fit in but he's he's known for being a very effective at it's you know an a, a assassin or a mercenary whatever you want to call it and also just being really tough so he ends up getting hired this is a book where uh I, the, the series is does not necessarily go in chronological order because uh, this one it's the first book but i know there are for sure stuff that's going to be before this uh, i don't remember which ones they are uh, but this is like happening where he's already very established. So you kind of gloss over how he got there and you have a little bit of that at the beginning. Uh, you gloss over a bit how he got there and then we're just sort of going. He does have a, this, which is what's pictured on the, the cover. He does have a, uh, you know, kind of like mini dragon. That's his, his familiar, uh, uh, which also like is like snarky and like, like some things like you got it boss and things like that too so it's really like uh it, it was so so interesting and i i feel like i'm doing a bad job of describing it because this is one of those ones i feel like you just sort of have to try to experience um and the, the biggest thing i can say is this screams fantasy from the 80s and i don't mean that in a bad way uh I, uh, although my, my particular niche I, I found tends to be 90s fantasy, uh, sometimes you just read something and it feels like, yeah, this feels like it's 70s fantasy or 80s fantasy or even 90s fantasy or, you know, modern, you know, you, you can, you can sometimes just tell, and this does kind of scream 80s. Uh, but part of it is just that Stephen Bruce is really just going with all of this. He's not questioning like, oh, is this what people are going to want? Is this what's going to be popular? He's just writing and it's a lot of it's wild and different. And the, the plot here is that there's somebody who's stolen a large amount of money from the like council of, of this clan. And Vlad is uh, basically hired to go and uh, kill the person, recover the, recover the money if he can, but kill them uh, because they don't want anybody knowing that they got away with uh, stealing, essentially. And so he's got to figure out a way to do this. So it, it feels almost like a heist novel. 
even though the, the point is not a heist, but to actually, in fact, to kill uh, a target. But it's, it's presented almost like a heist novel because they're, he's trying to figure out how to do it. You know, we have some other characters that get involved, that sort of thing. So it has so many different feels because he works for sort of a criminal organization. So you have kind of the mafia feel, you have the heist feeling. You have the extremely high fantasy elements. You get some uh, big drops of lore where you find out a lot about what's happened and how things have changed and like the uh lineage of everything going on and there's just like there's so many things going here so it's a little bit overwhelming for a first book uh but i i'm i'm very curious so this is one i will definitely be continuing to try out the second book but i just uh i feel like i'm a little all over the place and this is why uh when i did hamper i i read the first two books before i made a video because i'm like i needed that second book to really give me a feel for what this was going to be but i haven't gotten around to the second book yet and i wanted to uh record talking about this so i need you to let me know if you are a vlad taltosh uh reader uh, if you've read these uh and enjoyed these or even if you didn't either just like let me know your thoughts because uh this is such an interesting series and it's it's one that i'm i'm very intrigued by i don't know that i'm like i don't know that i'm gonna love this series uh but i'm intrigued and i enjoyed the first one enough that i definitely want to continue and find out what's uh, what more is going to happen and just see where this one goes uh but i'd be very curious because this is one i've not really for the most part heard anyone talk about um just another one of my kind of uh, started years ago random series I found and I've been curious to try and I like trying older series uh, they don't get talked about as much and I've ended up finding some favorites that way I don't know if this is going to be one of them but it's it's going to be a wild ride and sometimes that's uh, just fun to do and, and go through something like that but that's really it all I have on this one uh, I know this is sort of an all over the place one but I feel like if you read it, you'll understand why that's the way it is. But uh, let me know your thoughts. Like I said, make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the links in the description, as always, for the Patreon uh, if you want to join and support what I do here, as well as the Wizard of the Enclave Discord if you want to chat books, whether this book, other books, really anything at all. It's a lot of fun. We'd love to have you. And, of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. <laughs>